morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Friday, one day before. One day before I try my horse. Yeah. 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 Let's let's try it again. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. See? Even our dogs like you guys. Even our dogs like you. We think our dog can hear. We've changed our mind. We've done a bunch of stuff. And we think she can hear. I don't know if it's in one ear or two, but she's a hearing girl. I'm sure of it. She just doesn't want to listen to me. Yeah, she's just uh, that kind of a... Hey, Molly. She's just a selective girl. She's just a selective girl. She fits our family so well. So it is 9.30 a.m. Gracie was in the pen this morning when we went down. Basically yesterday, a piece of fence had shorted out. We didn't notice. She did notice. And she just pushed her way right out and came around and just spent however, God only knows however long eating grass. But anyway, we're headed out because I'll tell you when we get in the car. But before we go anywhere, I just wanted to tell you guys. I be rocking my jumper shirt. I'm rocking my jumper shirt, you guys. So if you guys don't know, Halter Equestrian gifted me this amazing t-shirt. It's bamboo, it's the softest material. You know how when you got some curves, you don't like things that like cling, but you want something that fits? Well, this is the material for Get you. the red one. You yeah. need the red one. Yeah, that's the one I want to. <laughs> you need the red like one. the color is gold, like that's perfect. Oh, I need to talk about this harness. All right, talk about your harness. Okay, so you guys should get this harness because it goes over Try, the try head. it on, put it on. All right, so it just slips over top of the head, goes up underneath the, <laughs> goes up in the mouth, that's what she thinks. Goes up across the belly. She wants to play. She's like, I feel so much better now. Let me play. I'm all sad. Ruby. Ruby doesn't like it. And this is better for when they get older. Because then if they're pulling you to go see another dog or something, you can grab a hold and just pull them back. And when they're little, you can just pick her up. No, just joking. I don't know if you can pick her up. But yeah, do you like that? So where do you hook it? You hook it way down here? Yeah. Thing? Let's see. Put her down. Let's see her walking. I, think your, um, dog coat for my dog. I definitely feel like it's more freeing and more like she has more room to... Uh, like the other ones don't seem to fit the same. I like it. I like it. If only they made it in yellow like a daisy color. I think we should uh, find a company yeah. or create a company because creating companies are fun. A lot of our subscribers have created yeah. their own companies. But I think we should create a company or find a company that will work with us and make a daisy yellow line. There are no yellow things yes. for dogs out there. We need a yes. daisy yellow. A daisy yellow color. To like be, a bright yellow. A bright yellow to go on our Dalmatian, our gorgeous Dalmatian that we love so much. A fan that I talked to on Snapchat and stuff, she started the YouTube channel. That's awesome. What is it? Called Olivia's Horsey Adventures. Aw, Olivia's, Olivia's horsey adventure. That's so nice of you to show people out, show her out. Long way for the girls to come so we can leave. I'm gonna do car talk with Laura. So basically, yesterday was the worst day. Like, it was the worst day. I had no idea it was the worst day until I was editing the vlog. And then I was thinking, wow, this is really the worst day. My purse broke. The purse that I carry, it's like plasticky, rubber proof, waterproof. Carry my camera in it and my phone in it. So whenever I need to film, it's always with me. It broke. What else happened yesterday? We woke up and Gracie was out. Gracie was free and that's always terrifying, especially because we live on a busy road. Yeah, that was a good thing. She got the treats. I got, um... What's the name of that Rainbows company? Rainbows and Unicorns. What was the name of that company? Muffin something pet mm. treats. Muffin around? That's what I thought. Muffin around? I'll have to look it up. Who can tell me what the name of the company that you guys followed yesterday for today's win it was a really fun company anyways um so both of gabby's horses were lame like lame both of them lame couldn't even work out of it nothing like that both of her horses were lame so that was hard finn was the best finn is always the best but his owner oh sorry but his owner had trouble. Then we thought daisy was deaf but we don't think daisy's deaf anymore i'm definitely leaning more toward i'm definitely Definitely leaning more toward just uh, selective because today I tried getting her excited just with my voice. So I stood around her and I just stood there completely still and started being like, come on, Daisy, come on, come on, Daisy, come on. Like getting really excited and all of a sudden her tail was wigging and her bum was wigging and she was looking at me and I'm like, yeah, you can hear you little tricker. Yesterday was a terrible day. So many bad things happened, but, and it rained all day. But the real point to this story is that no matter how bad the day is, 
how you feel about it is what makes it or breaks it. People say happiness is a choice and it really is. Sometimes it can be really hard to be happy in a bad situation, but once you've mastered it, you don't even realize that you're in a bad situation until you're editing the vlog later at night and you're compiling all the things that went wrong and you're like, gee, today was really a bad day, but you never felt the stress of it being a bad day. So that's my lesson for you guys today, my car talk, and we are ready to go. Are you ready to go, Gabby? Yeah, why did you start the car? Yeah, I should have started the car because it's hard for them to hear me over top of the car. So we are at Brandon's work again. You guys know that Brandon is where we take our, uh, Brandon works where we take our dogs to get their shots. Um, and he's going to give us instructions because we're helping them out again today. He never ever asks for help, but suddenly he needs us two times in one week. So we're happy to oblige. So he basically needs us to go catch a pony and... Apparently it's hard to catch, which I'm excited about. I'm going to ask Brandon if I can video Gabby catching this pony. Like, I hope it's cute. I love cute pony. Okay. All right. We are here at our old barn and Gabby did not understand where we were going. So she wore running shoes. Right. So show them your boots. Put it up here. So she's got Sophie's barn boots and they were too big. So she got some rope. Innovative girl. And she tied them so that they fit her. They I still, still got kind of fit, but they're way too big. Why does she have bigger feet than me? So somebody's coming to pick up a pony today, again, a different pony, and they changed the time that they were going to come, so he can't be here, but he needs the pony to be ready. And the pony named, named Larry apparently is terrible at being caught. So Gabby and I and Sophie are going to wrangle us a pony today. What? She just don't fit even though I tied them. Oh my gosh, deal with it, sister. Well, I can't yeah. run in you. So he, Larry, just wait, 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 wait. Don't go barging in. We got to get a plan. Oh, Gabby, still be freaking out about the boots. You won't like these then. You should get a different kind because these are really heavy. Yeah, I want lightweight. All right, well, I figured them out. Okay, so this is our horse's old paddock. Wait, do we have treats? We should go back to the car and get an apple. Oh, yeah, you go grab an apple. Get Sophie, go grab an no, apple. No, you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love it. That's so cute. Can it I just, it? I want it. I said to Brandon, I bet you Gabby's going to love this pony. So <laughs> Brandon calls him Lucifer, but no, no Brandon Hitler. calls him Hitler, but his name is Larry. And see that pregnant paint in the back? I messaged about her, but Brandon beat me to it. She was like really good price. And she's pregnant and she's my dream color. <laughs> Sophie, you stay at the gate. So the idea, yes, the idea is Brandon said to push him out into this little laneway and then we can catch him. So you stay at the gate so that- Is no, it because I don't have good shoes on? It's because you don't have good shoes on. You're on gate duty. Perfect. All right, let's go, Gabby. Don't judge about the mud, you guys. There's mud everywhere in Ontario right now, or at least in our area. These, all these ponies are like, pick me. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. You like the pregnant one? No, I want them all. I want to have a, aw, I want to have a barn. Here, put your hand out. Put your hand out. Oh, you showed him the lead rope. It matches. Don't show him. Don't be standing behind any bums. That's what I don't like to do. Oh my gosh, and she's got blue eyes. Oh my God. And a baby. She's brown. Oh, I love her. Apparently last year's baby was, apparently last year's baby to the same man, boy, was, was all pure black with white stockings and a white bald face. Like, hello, she hello. Doesn't like she doesn't like people? Well, she's dead broke. This horse is dead broke. Good girl. She like me. Good girl. Well, she has one blue eye. Oh, one blue eye? <gasps> All right, so so I'll hold the mare here. Good girl, look at this guy's missing an eyebrow too. It's okay. Like, why am I in here? Like, this is so stupid of me. Yeah, like, why? I do not like this, but look at how, look at there's a baby in there. Oh, she's like, don't touch my baby. Don't touch my belly. <laughs> oh, she's a cutie. Look at how nice she is. Look at how thick her fur is already. Okay, well, so I'm just gonna... We'll bring it into the shelter and hopefully the other one will follow. Okay, so I'll uh, even though the black one hates the little one because it's a puppy dog. All right, so this is gonna be funny. Brandon said that this is awful to catch. Wow, all right, so Gabby caught the tame one, and then oh, so then oh, Gabby got brains, you guys. They're all following. If she can get that one to go. Alright, Gabby's trying. 
Uh, wait, wait for the treats. Oh my gosh, honestly. If she catches that pony, I'll be amazed. If she holds on. <laughs> That's why I said wait for the treats, cuz. <laughs> Brandon's like, I'm like, oh, I'm sure we can get it. And Brandon's like, you will not get it. I'm like, oh, Gabby can do it. Everybody's here for the show, just in case you didn't know, they're all here. <laughs> watching they're all like riveted wow there's action in the paddock today hi. <laughs> gabby hi <laughs> all right he's on the move yeah i almost lost the boot there too Remember this used to be our horse's paddock and they made it all nice so like this whole top area here is not even wet at all. Which is amazing. Muddy. I love that mare too. Okay, scare him right here and I'll get out of the way. I'll be ready to open the door for you Gabby. I got your back here Gabby. Come bring the rope. <laughs> we rock. We're amazing. You're amazing. Wait, she needs to get out now and give you the rope. All right, little pony. <laughs> You're toast now. Wait, wait till I go. Make sure that gate is locked. Okay. So, Sophie, we're going to stand high here. Whoa, don't. They look like you. Me scream! I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> I'm gonna pee myself. Did you see me? You see him? He was gonna run me down. Okay, I'm going in here. He was for sure gonna run me down. Oh. Poor little. <laughs> so, but you and I have to help. Sophie Gabby's over there trying to, oh, he, he, oh my gosh, he really is the devil. She threw him a piece of the apple and he's like willing to, she's like, she's like Hansel and Gretel, Gretel. she's leading him a trail of apples. He's like, I don't care, I own you guys. I'll eat the apple, he's not that afraid. Oh my God, that was terrifying. <laughs> it was only terrifying when he screamed. <laughs> on the camera he was coming right for me like when they start bucking and getting their feet up higher than the back feet higher than their head i know that i'm done for i thought sophie and i would block the way but yeah that's not gonna happen i'm hiding somewhere. <laughs> sophie makes fun of me but she's hiding i thought we'd play good cop bad cop but no i feel like Quentin's gonna run straight through Aww, closer Closer, she could get it. Don't get near the back. So I'm so scared now. Mom. I don't know how to get to the hospital from here. He's probably going to a home that's going to work with him. See those ears? If he comes this way. I'm telling you now. Oh, I'm brave back here. Just if he starts running, I'm not brave. Mom, we 
Wants back in. Harder to catch than buns. Harder to catch than buns. Yeah, Sophie's funny. <laughs> Don't do it. Like so, so. <laughs> They're scaring them. So when he starts charging. <laughs> Sophie is like, ah, and then she starts banging on the thing, the water machine, so that he knows she's there. Like, she gets like, I will me. kill you, and I'm like more scared, but oh my god, it's funny. Honestly, I feel like you're not a true horse person until you wrangle yourself a wild pony. Um, and I'm actually okay with not being a, a, a real horsewoman. Maybe if I stand right up against this thing, because he's not going to run into it. I could stick my foot out and trip him. Okay, Mom, you just run the thing and it starts rolling. So, the slow way is the fast way with horses. I've said that a million times. I don't even know where I, where I heard that. But it is. Like, Gabby's doing it right. She's just slow and steady with the treats. Doing it well beautiful day out though it's gonna be 26 degrees which is really hot like it's a really nice day so luckily oh, it's, guy on the it's a perfect day to wrangle ponies this way don't you even come here don't you even come here don't kill Gabby though see I did it Mom, I did music. yeah don't play music that's scary them I mean me waving my hand is scaring them too Denver's like pick me I'll go yeah I know I'll run don't worry she says when she gets it, it's only going to go forward. I said, don't worry, I'll run. Oh my God, she did it. Woohoo! That probably only took us 20 minutes. Oh, probably like 30. Good job. Coco's <laughs> like, oh man. Oh, and now he's good. Now he's like, oh man, I'm caught. He's so cute though. Can we please buy him? What are those treats called? Puffin' around treats? Muffin' around treats. Muffin around treats. That, muffin' around pet treats. We didn't have to waste them. They sent us some, and the girls are the girls brought some just in case. I would have given it to the pony, but they want to save it for their own ponies. Yay! That one was not interested in apples. Wasn't even interested in apples. Brandon said we could have got some grain. We should. Yeah, you did it, Gabby. Good job. It has no forelock, though. It's so cute. I know. Oh, is that why it's so cute? I like a pony. I like a pony without a forelock. So, basically, when people ask us to do this kind of stuff, of I always agree because every experience that you have Can with horses is a, a teaching opportunity. Um, he's just a shaking. Okay. Yeah, I love a pony without a mane. Surprise, surprise, be taken home. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Oh, sorry, Brandon, we didn't see that pony. I'm oh, no. sorry, he wasn't don't, here. But don't drive by our barn anytime soon. So, I love that pregnant mare. I, I love the black one and the pregnant one. The girls one. love, and then there's a black and white pony in this field. I have to show you when we go by. All right, are we going to put him in the barn now? Yeah. Right. Barn, that barn? The little barn. Gabby's like, how did they get this thing on the trailer, though? Come on, I know you don't want to leave your friends. Back. Yeah. Good boy. Oh no, let go. Oh gosh. Hold it. Try not to. I'll leave We should never have moved it. Alright, so we lost it. Is your hand okay? I'm like crap. Oh, watch out! 
oh look, just leave it there. Look at that little pony. He's like, I see the apple. Gabby threw the apple. Cricket. Cricket. Cricket's Cricket. like, I see it. Eat the apple. Eat the apple. Why don't you get the pony again? I'll open the door before you walk him out. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna have to be the journey between Gabby and the horse all on her own. We'll meet you there! Okay, she's... Yeah, we won't... We won't move, don't look at us. Don't look at us. He walked through the barn door easily. Yeah, yeah. probably. You guys said he hated. Yeah, it was just us. We didn't have apples for him. He's so he cute. doesn't like apples. She gave him a big kiss on the nose. Yeah, we gotta move back. He only likes them around his face where he can see. Oh. Okay, do not step towards us right now. Is he a stallion? <gasps> I think he is. I see a lot of stuff back there. That's a junk in, in the trunk. Right, He's a know? stallion? Is he? We frangled a stallion! We're never leaving. Gabby's in love. You're in love. You bonded with him, didn't you? No, I didn't. I think she does love him. I love him, but I don't bond with him. All right, he's got some hay and some water, and we're out of here. It's noon already, and we are starving. So we're gonna head into the corner store here and we're gonna get healthy food. And by healthy food, we mean like subs or pizza, but not junk. So we ended up getting subs because that's all they had really. So I got a turkey, you got pizza, pizza you got pizza. pizza. And we got cheese curd, let's see. I don't know if they have curd everywhere. I think they do though. This is cheese curd. When you take away the sugar, the um, also, snacks that we buy are more expensive. Also um, deep fried cheese curd. Oh, I've never tried that. We should make that. Sophie and I are about to give away our muffin around pet treats that we love. They are adorable. All right. Does it say done? Um, yep. Emily M. Emily M. You are the winner of the muffin around treats. So this is our very last smaller giveaway. Well, not our last one, but this is the last one we're going to do before the weekend. We are not gonna do another giveaway until Monday because our vlogs are gonna be crazy in case I buy a horse on the weekend. So this is the last one until Monday and then we'll resume on Monday with a little tiny bit bigger stuff. Who's it from, Gabby? Blue Bay Leather... Blue Bay Leather Balm. Blue Bay Leather Balm. Let's see what you get if you win the Blue Bay Leather Balm. If you follow Blue Bay Leather Balm on Instagram, then you'll get an opportunity to win, to try to win their leather balm and their this little charm is it like a i think it's worth it oh it's beautiful oh. okay i'm not gonna lie we wanted to check it out <laughs> we opened the leather balm so we can show you it smells like coconut or vanilla mm. Both. the other thing that comes with this is a horse bridal charm and it is so cute i love it 
It is adorable. You could you could even use it for like a keychain, hook it to your keychain. You could use it for anything, but I love me a uh, bridal charm. In fact, it's got my color on it. I love light pink. Also in the bag are some cute little peppermint candies. Either you could eat them or give them to your horse. Super cute. Love this prize so much. So don't forget, follow Blue Bay Leather Bomb and come back and comment done. Apparently this horse is a trailering dream. She goes on and off with no problems. Got all of our blankets hung up yesterday. So that's looking a lot better. I was able to clean up a little bit down here yesterday, but I'd like to really like clean up all Sam's mess. That's all Sam's mess over there. And then this is all our mess. <laughs> so it's not just Sam, you guys. So I have that. I also want to fill a hay bag for her. The other thing I need is a bumper. And I know a lot of you guys don't use bumpers either, but we do, especially with like a new horse. We're used to what our horses do on the trailer, so it's not that big of a deal to us. Like, so we don't use it as religiously because we know that they're pretty, usually pretty safe. Could use it still because of accidents, you never know. But, oh, I want to take this to the barn. Um, but I need like a, a head bumper and a leather halter. I also need to clean out the trailer because there's poop in it and the lady that we are buying her from, I do not think that she would appreciate us putting her horse in a poopy trailer. So at first, when we first bring her home, if this works out, this will be the saddle that I'll start riding her in and I'm happy to have like a saddle bag that matches so that I can take her on trails and have snacks. And so that's the plan. Here's my, that's all ready. My saddle pad is all ready. So all I need is a lead rope and a leather halter. I literally have no time to do this, so make it beautiful. I really feel like my kids should do this after every time we take the trailer out, but they don't. Oh, look at both of them. <laughs> you know what's weird? Our horses always fall apart just before the, here, let me take one. Just before the Cairo comes. All right, you go first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, they all been rolling. Okay, that is it for today's video. Hopefully Chino and Storm are it's hot everywhere. Hopefully Chino and Storm are doing good for the show next week. We have a show next week. That is it for today's video though. So tomorrow, the next time you see me, the next time you see me, I'll be trying a horse. So um, if the video goes good of me actually trying her and I get to like actually ride her, um, I'll post that at night, tonight. And if I, br then you'll see what happens probably in the morning. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll figure it all out. Maybe I'll do a premiere if we get home in time and of me trying her. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. I just want to say a quick little thank you to all of the companies that, that donated to our giveaway. That's so kind. So amazing. I love you all so much. Like, honestly, when you can work with a company and build a personal relationship, you know it's a good company. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?